Hello and welcome to the video Spring REST Controller Annotation Examples with me Nam Ha Ming from Code Java.net. In this video, I'd like to share with you uh, the meaning of the REST Controller Annotation in Spring Framework and how to use it uh, with some code examples. So you know, the REST Controller is a class-level annotation. That means it can be used uh, only to annotate a class and in Spring MVC we used a REST controller annotation to develop RESTful web services and typically we use the REST controller annotation to indicate that the annotated class has the role of a RESTful web controller Note that this annotation is itself annotated with the controller annotation that allows the controller to handle web requests with handler methods annotated with a request mapping annotation and this annotation is also annotated with the response uh, body annotation that allows the object returned by the handler methods to be serialized to JSON or XML in the response body okay now let me show you some uh, real life code examples so you see I have a Java Spring uh, project here and I have uh, an entity class a product that has three fields ID name and price it represents information of a product and this is a, a business class a product service it uh, implements the method get products that returns a list of uh, product objects and we have some uh, dummy data of three products yeah okay very simple and now let me create a new java class that acts that has the role of a web restful controller so i name the class as product rest controller and we use the rest controller like this annotation like this to indicate that this class has the role of a restful web controller and I have I implement the handler method that returns a list of uh, product object list or oh, for example and I need to use the request uh, mapping annotation to handle request uh, for a specific uh, URI slash uh, products is the uh, URI's URI that is uh, handled by this handler methods okay and we need to have a reference to product service product service service yeah and here we simply return service Get products very simple so you can see the uses of the rest controller annotation we use it to annotate the class to indicate that it is the restful web services controller and we have only one handler method here okay now let me start this uh, spring boot application to test uh, this uh, restful api Okay, it is up and running, and I open the command prompt and use a curl command line tool to test the API. Curl localhost htht slash products is a URI of the REST web service yeah, that returns a list of uh, products objects and uh, Spring MVC will serialize uh, a list of products into a corresponding JSON in the response body let's see you see the response body is a JSON document it is an array let me use this syntax so we can see the JSON output easily you see it is uh, an array that contains uh, three objects, product ID 1, product ID 2, and product ID 
3. Uh, this is uh, possible uh, because of the REST controller annotation, uh, which is itself annotated with the controller annotation here and response body annotation here. Make sense? All right. I hope you now understand uh, what the REST controller annotation is about in Supreme Framework and how to use this annotation in real life uh, project. I hope you found this uh, video helpful. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.